Hello everyone and welcome to the chicken kitchen! <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to do some unboxing and looking at this DC regulated power supply. Rated up to 35 amps, it's 12 volt. And go! Let's see what's in the box. So anyway, one piece of styrofoam oh look i think this is instructions it's also got you know if you and of course you got ham guys out here you're going to appreciate the schematic and it's got a full 12 month warranty usually you know it's hard to find a 12 month warranty in anything these days especially electronic it's 90 days and you're on your own they don't skimp on the magnets and copper Oh, sh hang on a second. You know, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So here it is. This is a dandy little thing. Let's see if we can get it up here so we can take a proper gander at it. Wow, that's impressive. That's a heavy, heavy box. So let's get the plastic off and take a look at this in depth. So I've got it all hooked up and it works. So, you know, if you're a hobbyist or wanting to get into, you know, electronic hobbies or get into ham radio or uh, wanting to kit out your avionics test bench, if you're an A&P mechanic, why do I need a 12-volt regulated power supply? Well, if you're hooking up, well, in aviation specifically, if you're hooking up $1,000 radios and sometimes tens of thousands of dollars of radios, to test them, to get them to operate, so you can work on them, debug, reprogram, or whatever, you're going to need a really solid source of DC current. You just can't, you know, troubleshoot it inside the airplane. You gotta extract that out. A lot of times you've got the whole panel out. And so you need a really good 12 volt power supply that's regulated. You don't want any crazy jumps or skips or spikes or anything like that. It's got to be a solid, pure 12 volts out. So this one ha is, it is regulated, but is it adjustable? And I find the adjustable voltage very, very handy. Adjust the knob and deflect the needle to where you need. 10, 13.8, and this peaks out at 13.8. And you can apply voltage at any range from 0 up to 13.8. Now this one handles 35 amps. That's its max out. So if you're needing more than 35 amps, MFJ also has a product line that takes you well above the 35 amp range. But they're all so heavier. Good God! How much copper and iron are in those things? But for the larger ones, make sure your bench is built to handle it. I know some of you at home, oh I'll just set up my electronics bench on a card table. Not with that one. This table here, solid steel, baby. Woo! And if you're doing automotive troubleshooting for automotive uh, electronic needs, this has a cigarette lighter, a t uh, port, provides 12 volts out right through the cigarette lighter. So you can, ha you have a lot more um, debugging and troubleshooting opportunities with this power supply without having to wire up a separate wiring harness for whatever device that has one of these plugs or for automotive. And of course every power supply, the decent ones, the really good ones, always have a fuse. And always check the fuse and make sure the fuse is actually in there and rated for what you're putting out. Also when you're buying a power supply, some of the sketchier ones, they're set to 220 volts. They also have a fuse rating for that or they may have 120 volts and it's fuse rating for that. So make sure that you look in the back and f that you examine your product whenever you buy it and make sure it's for the voltage, the household voltage you have or your bench voltage, whatever it needs. Make sure this is uh, set to and make sure your fuse is also the right size for the uh, AC voltage you have coming out at your bench. And if you're an electronics hobbyist, you'll need one of these definitely to power your uh, Raspberry Pi projects or your own homebrew projects, your own DIY stuff. 
So if you're an electronic hobbyist, you've probably got some of these laying around, a little USB cord, right, with some sort of a AC adapter that gives you some DC voltage out to a plug, or more likely you have these little wads of wire. Transformer on one end that plugs directly into your AC outlet, and 14 knots later, you have, uh, oh lordy, this one's really tied up. Yeah. Then you have something like this to plug into your device. This baby just takes all this away. So this one is 12 volts out. This is an AC to DC converter. Takes 120 volts in DAC and converts it to uh, <clears throat> 12 volts out with one and a half amps. So you would just set this to 12 volts and this would deliver, this would take place of this on your project. And this will do more than just one thing at a time. You can have 12 volts out with uh, six amps. You can have 12 volts out with 35 amp capacity. Or you have two channels of DC, one and two, of maximum of six amps. So you're going to be doing lots of projects all at once or a very complicated project that has multiple power needs all through this. And if you if your power situation is more complicated than that, well, you can get one net. You can get a power supply that will handle that kind of complexity or just add another one on top. So if you're a ham radio guy, you already know that you have a complex power requirement situa situation. A lot of times radios you buy have no internal power supply. You have to get a power supply, an external one, to plug up, and then you plug your radio and wire it into this. Um, you may need a bigger one to power your linear amplifier. You know, if you're running linear amplifiers at 1,000, 2,000 watts out constantly, then your power supply is not going to be something larger than this can put out. You're going to have very complicated power requirements, and you may need a rack of these or some uh, very specialized build, built your own kind of uh, power supplies. And the cool thing about MFJ is if you're a ham guy, you will appreciate the fact that it comes with a schematic. And after the warranty is over, you know, you can either send it back in if they have the parts, or you could probably service your, yourself. I mean, you're, you've got a ham license. Of course you're going to probably service it yourself if it's out of warranty, right? We do everything. Again, I would re recommend this MFJ uh, power supply. Like specifically, this is a model number MFJ4035MV, Mike Victor. So if you're looking for something for your uh, avionics uh, you know, test bench or your, or, or your automotive electronics test bench, or your ham radio shack, this would do it. Or if you're just an electronics hobbyist looking to learn, you're gonna need a DC power supply and this baby will handle 90% of the projects out there. And if it doesn't, you're just trying to be me. So that's it here from the chicken kitchen. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, please subscribe. If you got any questions or comments, just leave those in the uh, comments below. I just want to give a shout out to all my Patreon guys. Without you, this channel would just be an impossibility. So thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So until next time, t I'll... <laughs> the talkie man talkie talkie badly. If I could just have some chicky nuggies. So until next time, I'll be your pot. Fuck me. So until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye bye.
think it's a wrap.